All right, so in this video, let's talk about deploying our app. So if you've made one of these apps, sooner or later, you're probably gonna want to use it, right? So if you have it ready, so let's say you made this, and this is our app, and we click add record, it brings us the form, and you know, we have this form, so we basically add something, it goes to our spreadsheet, or whatever the app is. The point is, at some point, when you made one of these apps, and it's ready, you're probably gonna want to use it. And you're probably gonna want to get rid of this message on top that says this application was created by another user, not by Google, right? And all this stuff on top. So how do we do it? So what do you do? You basically iframe this application into your website. Now, what your website is going to be, obviously is gonna vary. So I'm gonna show it on a basic HTML file, but same rule applies on any website, it's just an iframe. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go back to my app and make sure I deploy the final version. So if this is the final version I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go under versions, new, and I'm gonna update to a current version. This will be the URL for my app now. Now I'm gonna to want to iframe that to my website. So I'm gonna copy that. I'll open Visual Studio Code. So we'll start with the basic HTML template. I'll do exclamation tab. That will do it in Visual Studio Code. Now again, you're not gonna be building this from scratch, whatever HTML you have, most likely. You're probably already gonna have a website where you want to embed this application. Now I'm gonna place that in the body of this. So I will have to create an iframe. So iframe, here we go. So the source for that iframe will be basically that URL. So I'll paste that as the source. I'm gonna just hit enter because I'm zoomed in so much. This could stay on a single line, but I'm gonna do this because I want you to be able to see the rest. I'm gonna also add maybe some size to this. You can do that with CSS. I'm not gonna worry about CSS right now. If you know CSS, you should know how to handle that. But for me, I'm just gonna add some width. So I'll do 100%. So do the full screen width. And then we'll do some height as well. So I'll do like 500 PX for 500 pixels. That will be my iframe. So I want to see what this iframe looks like. So I'm gonna start my live server. So there's this go live all the way down here because I have live server extension installed. I'm gonna click on that. It's just gonna basically open this file. Now you'll see that basically I got nothing. And that's what you're gonna get when you try to just iframe this application. So by default, it's not gonna let you iframe it. What you have to do to make it something that's possible to iframe, you're gonna have to go to your application and wherever you render your HTML, so in my case, I made that render as a separate utility function, so it should be here. See, I made this render function, but really the reality is that this is the HTML service that we just return by creating whatever we do here, and then we evaluate that. And that's the last piece of evaluating the page. Now to make sure you can iframe this, what you want to do in addition to doing this dot evaluate, you want to do this method set X frame options mode, and we need to set those options. So those options are gonna come again from our HTML service, so that and see it has one of this X frame options modes. So I'm gonna use that dot. And what we want to do, we want to allow all. I'm gonna save. Now remember, I need to deploy this again to make this change available. So I'm gonna go back, save this, publish, deploy as web app and create a new version and update. It's gonna be the same link. I don't have to recopy and paste the link. So after I made this update, let's go check what happened. So I'm gonna go back and reload this. And you can see our app loads in this iframe, which is our new file. So now if I click add record, 
You see what happens? It's sent it to that page without actually opening this new page in a frame, so we still get this error message on this other page. So, we're gonna undo that. However, on this page, notice we don't get that thing on top because we just iframed this in. Now to fix this, the reason we're getting this is that in our HTMLs, if we go back here, I look at my HTML, like page HTML is one of those. See, there's this base target on top and it says top. Now we want our links to be opened inside of the frame itself instead of opening outside of the frame. And that's what happened here when I clicked on it. It basically wasn't here, was here. When I clicked on this, it basically didn't go inside of this frame. It just ignored where we are here and it went to that URL. So to avoid that, I need to make sure I change this to self. So it will be underscore self instead of underscore top. Now I need to do this for all of my pages, at least for the ones that are gonna be opening links. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go back to my home HTML and that's pretty much all the pages I have. And the same thing here, this needs to be self. Save that. Again, to keep these changes, I need to redeploy this, publish, deploy as app. A new version, update done. Let's go check it out. I'm going to go back here, refresh. There it is. It showed up. Now I'm going to click add record and see it opened inside of the same frame. So now I should be able to work in this. So if I click run it, we have our validation running. It says you can't do this. You have to do your selection. So if I start selecting things, run it, see, we still have more fields to validate. So let's enter some Now, before we enter this, let's check what's in our spreadsheet. So Jack Smith is the last record. Let's go back here, run it, go back to our application. There it is. That's the new line. And now we have our app deployed and we don't have that message on top and it's inside of our website. Now, obviously your website doesn't have to be only this app. It could have some things on top and below. This is just a part as an iframe in there. Now, if you don't have a website where you're gonna be iframing this, your next option, if you just need some place for this to run, you can use Google Sites. So if you simply go to sites.google.com, you should be able to create a new site. In this right bottom corner, we have this little plus sign I'm gonna click create new site. This is our site, so you can do a lot of things here. You can change overall how this looks, you know, change the text, obviously, change the picture, add some more things, but I'm sure you can figure that out. What I want to show you is how do we add our web app to this. So first, let's rename this, my web app, something like that. So here I'm going to use this insert embed option and that's gonna allow us to embed an iframe just like I did a second ago, right? So I'm gonna do embed and it's gonna ask us what's the URL. So let's go to our application URL right here. Copy it, go back to this, paste, and insert. So that's gonna add that. You can do whatever you're gonna have to do here. Resize this. Make it look the way you want it to look. So again, I'm not gonna go over how you use Google Sites. So that's my embed. I'm gonna go ahead and publish this top right corner, click on that, publish to the web. See, this is the URL that we're gonna get. You can also do custom URLs if you have your own domain. I'm thinking if you're using this, you probably don't have one. So you can change this custom URL to something that's available. I'm gonna do publish. See, it's published successfully. It gives us the link. So I'm gonna click view. 
So that view didn't show up for whatever reason. I'm gonna go here and click on this copy publish site link. See right here on top. That's our link. I'm gonna copy that, go and open that in a new window. That's our website and this is our web app in our website. I can click add record and it's gonna open this and it's gonna work the same way. And now we don't have that message and it works as our deployed web app. And that's pretty much it. So should be a pretty easy video, hopefully. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.